I got a lot of footage yesterday. It was incredible. We're today the 26th of July, 2018, and I was out for three hours, three and a half hours yesterday until the scope started getting wet because it was getting very humid. But either way, it was going under the horizon close to two in the morning. So I got some good footage. And um, for the next uh, couple days, I hope I'm going to be getting a lot more. Like tonight, I'm all charged up and I'm ready to go back out. The moon will be even wider but do you see how even though it's a full fuller moon uh, without that line of light it's really hard to see uh, any structures and to differentiate the structures on the surface because I say it all the time the structures have the same reflectivity as the surface so it's hard to distinguish them to put them apart from the surface you know let alone even see color here I'm finding objects on the outer limits um, of the moon, which is, uh, by the way, the bottom half that is flipped upside down. 
uh, sorry, bottom half is flipped. Let's try that again, right side up. And that's what you're seeing there, some anomalies. And why is it different? It always is. Every time we go up, we see a different surface. And um, smokes are thicker in areas. Look at Montes Apenninus, where Radisthenus Crater is. Do you see how we can't see absolutely anything inside of Montes Apenninus? Everything's just one big white blur. Now, I'm trying to dis distinguish whether it's because there's more smoke or it's because it's a brighter surface. I'm not sure which is. Uh, either way, we're looking at a surface that is always changing. So if it's changing, could there be constru uh, construction? Could there be, um, you know, smokes or hazes that travel over the surface, giving us hard times to view um, the surface? Doing my videos, I don't often have a lot of time to get out there and see what's going on in space, but I, I do keep myself informed, of course. And another big interest I've always have and had, sorry, is our asteroids. Asteroids are exceptionally um, unknown to many. And never has a spacecraft ever visited it. Well, they were talking in popular mechanics over the next decade, both NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, they're going to take the first steps towards a defensive plan against asteroids. They say that they're going to launch the DART probe in 2022 that we hear them talking about. It's supposed to crash into a nearby asteroid and attempt to change its tra trajectory. And in 2026, we know that the states, China, European space agencies, there's a fight, you know, there's a battle to get to space and who's going to be in charge of it all probably because... Um, the Air Force is mentioning that they're not changing any of their plans and they don't even know if they're going to have any of the funding. But why all this rush to get the Air Force up into space for war fighting capabilities in space? They talked about it. It was talked about by the Air Force and this is in the news. So this is um, something that I always try to follow and see what's going on why all i mean just look at what's going on in space there's too much to follow now and they're preparing for something something is definitely a, you know a danger out there there are objects asteroids hurling hurling all over the bloody universe and at one point 
there is a danger that maybe one hit could banish a couple millions here. I don't know what to say. Cameron McLean and Daryl Kozak. Guys, thanks so much for the contributions. Thanks for being a part of the community. Thanks for the support. Guys, stick around. I got a lot of footage. Welcome to the community. Some more recent donors throughout this month that we got. Russ Brock, Gerardo, R. Carmona, Les, Liza Grassi, Graham Sampton, Christy Lindsay, Mickey Lund, and Dennis Delano. Guys, I love you so much and thanks for the support. Thanks for being a part of this community.